Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and Fan. Right now the time is approximately 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and the current date is Sunday, October 8th, 2017. I find it very interesting that um, in between my first video today and my second video, which is this one, um, I did not physically manifest a new YouTube channel subscriber, however, I did physically manifest a new follower to my professional, metaphysically oriented WordPress blog, This Is Who I Am. So I was like, well, that's a cool thing, which it is a cool thing. Oh, and quick shout out to Gothica. So this is my official updates September 2017 video, which will accompany my official updates September 2017 blog post, also on This Is Who I Am. So, um, a lot of things have been going on in my life, uh, in my personal life and more so than my professional life. And I, I've, I mentioned this in another video um, recently, and I, I mentioned how my intention is to keep my YouTube channel as positive as possible. Although I, I must acknowledge that I have trend, that I, positive thinking doesn't do it for me anymore. And I think it's because of how many years I've spent reading and rereading Catherine Ponder's prosperity books. It's like I really can't do the positive thinking anymore. To me, it now needs to be prosperity thinking or prosperous thinking. And I, and I really love um, this particular passage from Catherine Ponder's book, Open Your Mind to Prosperity. She writes, you are prosperous to the degree that you are experiencing peace, health, and plenty in your world. And I really use those words as words by which to live. And, and re they really are like um, a, a guidepost for me. It's like, okay, where am I not experiencing peace? Where am I not experiencing health? Where am I not experiencing plenty? And, but I also feel that I need to acknowledge that there have been some things, primarily in my personal life, that have left a lot to be desired. And I was dealing with a lot of things uh, for several months. And, September of this year really was the month that I began to question whether or not I really had everything I needed to handle it. I now know that I did. Well, actually, that's not true. Deep in my heart of hearts, or as I would say to the marrow of my bones, I knew that I did have everything that I needed to handle everything that was coming at me and everything that was happening in my life. And I now know that. like. I have seen physical evidence in the physical realms, in the in the mundane physical worlds, that confirm that that suspicion, that belief, that that sense. But for a while, it was tough, you know. And I and I really feel that this experience was a reminder of several things. Number one, it was a reminder, um, and, and it's so funny because, you know, I, I often rave about Two Spirits videos, and I, and I love that he and I have so many great things in common, and I love that he and I have this mutual admiration society thing going on, and one of the things that he said in his recent um, Saturday stream, live streaming video, which was yesterday, the most recent one, um, is the importance of a daily practice. I've written about this on my blog, This Is Who I Am, and I know that the High Priestess of Grove Argentum, of which I have the honor and pleasure of being an initiated companion, has also said this as well. So I, I really feel that September 2017 was a massive reminder for me to maintain a daily spiritual practice, a daily magical practice, to really make sure that from the time that I wake up until the time that I go to bed, there are certain things that I must have done. And I am crystal clear that now more than ever, I'm being reminded of that. And, you know, um, I know that when 
I did my very first uh, tarot tag video, my very first oracle tag video, one of the questions I asked was, do you do daily draws? And a lot of people said yes, and a lot of people said no. And, and I had no, you know, I still have no issue with either response, because if it's the honest response, then I love it. But I really am clear that there is this need for um, a daily spiritual practice and a daily magical practice. There really is that need. And for those of you who may have lapsed, for lack of a better term or phrase, in what you know you need to do to be spiritually empowered and to be magically strong, consider this a reminder, a brief, loving, gentle reminder. I, I am not going to police you. No. You know, I am not the metaphysical police. I don't want to be a member of the metaphysical police. I don't have that kind of luxury of free time. That's, that's, I, and even if I did have the free time, I don't want to do that. You know, I don't. September was also a month of a lot of insights for me. You know, I really began to relearn certain things about myself. And I'm probably going to go into more detail when I write the accompanying blog post because I haven't done that yet. And normally I, I will have them at least halfway written or halfway completely written before I do the videos. But given that September through December historically is the busiest time of the year for me, especially with regards to my professional psychic practice, I'm kind of doing things like... Um, you know how some I don't I don't do this personally, but I know that we've all encountered these people. These are the people that um, they tend to like go in a, go back and forth in a supermarket. You know, they'll start at aisle one, then they'll go to aisle twenty, then they'll go to aisle three, then they'll go to aisle nineteen. You know, they kind of do that. See, I can't do that shit. I'm like that would just drive me up the wall. But I have noticed that one thing that I also relearned for myself is I must resume working with things to do lists as you know that's a very mundane non-magical thing and I know that but I really find that having things to do lists keeps me focused it keeps me mentally organized um, I can't remember mental notes for shit I really and it, it never ceases to amaze me how many times I have made a mental note to myself, even though I have tons and tons of empirical evidence that says, Robert, mental notes don't do shit for you. They never have, by the way. They just, they've never done it for me, which is why now I've upgraded to this. This is now my, uh, my YouTube channel pad, or pads as the case may be. This is what I use when I, when I want to like, write down ideas for videos like what I'm what I'm gonna work on this is what I do um, and I know this is October and I started but I did buy this in September so <laughs> anyway but yeah so I I think that one of the themes for me um, during this autumn is remembering the physical realms is remembering to be in touch with the physical realms and um, you know I think that it's also important to give people, to give yourselves, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you directly, to give yourselves that escape. Because, you know, historically speaking, when things are really rough, the masses are gonna go to entertain themselves. The cinema is not gonna lose money, we know that. Netflix is not gonna lose money. Hulu Plus is not gonna lose money. You know, the fact of the matter is that when things get rough, you know, we, we need to like take a break from reality and lose ourselves and, and immerse ourselves in another world, you know? And, and at one point I kept watching episodes of Wayward Pines um, back and forth with episodes of Top of the Lake. And, you know, I kept thinking to myself, you know what, things are really crappy for me right now, but I'm gonna immerse myself in this world, in these worlds because they're in much worse shape than I am. And it's true, you know, if you've, if you've ever watched either one of those television series, you know, you know? Um, and I'm just like, okay. And, and, and now I've already watched both 
seasons of Wayward Pines and both seasons of Top of the Lake. And now I can, I can, I'm more at peace. And I've been more at peace for a few days, so, you know. But September, I, I did the binge watching thing, you know. I don't like that phrase. I think it is such a, I don't know, there's something about that phrase that just rubs me the wrong way. But it has become a millennial 21st century buzzword and, you know, whatever. Um, some buzzwords just don't do it for me, you know. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it with regards to the September 2017 updates video. They're really, that, I mean, I'm sure that I'll go into a little more detail when I write the blog post, but I wanted to give all of you a quick check-in. Um, I will say that even though there have been times that I've been divinely guided to do the things that I've been, that I was divinely guided to take a, that was divinely orchestrated to me to take a sabbatical from doing, I find that even when I do them, even if it's infrequent, it doesn't work out as well as it used to. And I do miss, I do miss leading group metaphysical classes. And I know that one of my clients who is a semi-regular client has said this is what works best for her. Online classes don't work for her. And I get it. I know that there, for some people, online classes is not their thing. I totally get it. And my preference is in-person metaphysical classes. I would rather lead an in-person metaphysical class than an online one. I've been divinely guided to lead an online one. But, you know, I just find that some things are not flowing the right way. And I'm also being reminded to be patient. You know, it could be that maybe I need to take a really long sabbatical from leading group metaphysical classes, from participating in group metaphysical classes, from participating in group rituals. I may need to take a long sabbatical where maybe, let's say for the sake of argument, three to five years take place before I do them again. I don't know. And I really don't know if that's the case or not. What I do know is that there are a lot of things that have been coming up in my consciousness like this is what needs to happen this is what i need to look at and i feel that that's not been just for september of 2017 i feel that that is a theme for me for this autumn and you know it's funny because every once in a while i some of my favorite videos on youtube are the ones um featuring my fellow diviners and readers and they will share their favorite uh, tarot and oracle card decks to use for that particular season. And with me, it's it's not, you know, the decks that I use are not seasonal. They're, they're, they're from one new moon to the following dark moon. And it really is just what my intuition is telling me, what my psychic guides, what my spirit guides, what those celestial beings that I love and adore are saying these are the ones to use. And that's, that's been working for me. And if that's what's working for me, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nobody ever needs to reinvent the wheel. In the meantime, if you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel of yours truly, Robert Alvarez, The Psychic Witch, I absolutely invite you to do so. If you have not already scheduled a private reading with me, or a private class, like a private prosperity class, or any other private class that I offer, um, then please do so. If you have not already scheduled a private energy healing treatment with me, then I absolutely invite you to do that as well. I can offer readings, classes, and uh, energy healing treatments in person for those of you who live and or work in the New York City area, as well as those of you who, are, might, who may be visiting the New York City area. I offer them by telephone, I offer them by Skype, and I still offer sessions by email. Primarily, um, it would be readings by email. I, ha I can't think about how I would translate, um, how I would translate a class by email or an energy healing treatment by email. That doesn't kind of like make sense to me, um, mentally, psychologically, energetically. But a reading I could do by email because I've done re email readings before. They've worked out pretty well. It worked out very well, actually. I can't do a reading via Instagram, though. There was a reading that I conducted via Instagram to somebody whose mother used to, op 
include me in some of her events brought, where she would have psychics giving readings. And she reassured me that the reading I gave her via Instagram was completely accurate, but I didn't feel comfortable with it. And, you know, it was out of honoring the two, her and her mother and out of respect and, and gratitude for her mother that I did that. But I can't do that again. I really cannot give somebody a reading via Instagram because it just doesn't work for me. You know, I will happily give people, and, and, and you know, for the record, it was a free reading. I almost never offer free readings. But, you know, even if I'm going to offer a free reading, it has to be in a, in a way that works for me. You know, and, and giving somebody a reading via Instagram just doesn't work for me. And for those of you who are going to pay for my psychic services, you absolutely deserve to receive your money's worth. And if you were to pay me to give you a reading via Instagram, you would not be getting your money's worth. You just wouldn't. So there's that. In the meantime, um, I would like to thank you for honoring who I am and what I do. I would like to thank you for honoring all of us at Catland Books and everything we do too. And I wish all of you a beautiful night and a wonder-filled week.